uh, this surprised me when we were sitting down talking about this in our meeting. This is a cautionary tale for spending big money on free agent wide receivers in any year. Uh, so since 2018, 32 unrestricted free agents have signed for $8 million or more in uh, contract value per year. Two, only two of them, so that's one in 16, have reached 1,000-plus yards receiving um, and had greater than, or, or none of them, rather, have had greater than six touchdowns. So the average season for these uh, 8 million-plus free agent wide receivers, 41 receptions, 503 yards, and three touchdowns. Uh, the um, at Cleveland TA's thing, go cheap. Trade or draft for for your wide receivers, and here is the list. And you look at the names, and you look at the ages, and the production again has not been what you would want from free agent wide receivers. Galladay, Davis, Samuels, Aguilar, uh, T. Y. Hilton, Cobb, Emmanuel Sanders, Robbie Anderson. The list goes on and on and on. Um, I was surprised. Again, you look at that, and those are. Those are the dollar figures uh, on the column. Those are the total value of the contract and the per year. And none of them have really worked out the way the signing team um, would think they would. None of them have performed the way you want a number one to. So I, I, I'm one of the guys that has said they need production and they need it right away, but free agent wide receivers have not worked out. Does that surprise you at how um, how much the free agent wide receiver classes have struggled the past several years? A little bit, a little bit. I mean, I had a suspicion that wide receivers, you know, the free agent class of wide receivers year over year hasn't been great, but I didn't know it was that uh, pronounced. And, you know, the saying about the good quarterbacks is, you know, if a team has a good quarterback, it will most likely keep that good quarterback. That's why uh, you don't typically see good quarterbacks on the free agent market. Um, I guess you could say the same about wide receivers. If you have a really good wide receiver, uh, you're going to find a way to keep him. And, um, you know, in the Browns calculus, too, as we know, Dave, and we'll get into this uh, this year, is – uh, affected no doubt by the fact that the top end of the receiver class in this year's draft is really good. So uh, I would be, I would think the Browns would be leaning toward the draft for their wideout. Yeah. Again, the um, the surprising thing is just none of them have really hit it. Uh, I, the other thing to keep in mind with wide receivers, each offensive system varies, and that really affects how any wide receiver performs in a given offense. More so, more so than running back, more so than lineman. Receiver varies from offense to offense. You're right, David. One more thing on top of that. It, it's very difficult to have two alpha dog wide receivers on a team, okay? Because there's only so many balls that can be thrown in the course of a game. There's only so many touches that even the great receivers get. So when it's difficult to have two stud receivers, two seemingly number one guys, uh, you could see why wide receivers in a free agent class more often than not would, would not live up to the hype or the money. 